guilty Guilty, y'all Love after Maka Of love in the first degree But I don't mind Mm-mm. Sure don't As long as you're here with me A judge and the jury Fabric will gay up. They put the blame on me. Lock me up, throw away the key. I'm just a prisoner of love. I'm doing time, I'm doing fine. I'm just a prisoner of love. Love after lock up, y'all. Watch it, y'all. Those little dead cakes They go everywhere Nothing like a jumpsuit Y'all, it's part five of Poodle's Takeover Week And this is Life After Lockup Not Lalu not love after like a, but Lilu. Uh, some of you have said I still hate that, don't like it, but too bad, that's branding. And with me is the one, the only, the Southern double named, Mary Payne. Hey. From Pink Shade. Hey. Hey. I'm here <laughs> straight, I came to you straight from the ladies' luncheon. <laughs> and um, that's not a joke, that's dead serious. <laughs> when I wrote you and it said, I can do it, but I've got to go to the country club ladies' luncheon first. And no, that's not a joke. That's where I was earlier today. So you here are, I am. You were talking to other double named Southern women. I'm uh, sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Yes, I'm skirting around them. Yes. It's it's a normal thing for where I, I grew up in South Carolina and it is a very normal thing to have Mary Claire's. Sure. Um, mm-hmm. uh, um I went to high school with a oh crap. Why am I blanking on this? Um her name was uh Dodie Lee. Uh, yeah. a Dodie Lee. Uh huh. That doesn't um, surprise no, there's not any combo of names you could put together that would make me go, what? I mean, nothing. There's uh, nothing you could put together. There was a girl, um, I think, come, right as we were coming up, whose name was Ainsley Faith. <laughs> yeah. And, and two words, those two words don't even go no, together. They no. Have, like, I kind of understand Lee. And mm-hmm. even Mary Payne makes sense to me because it, it flows. A little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A- Ainsley Faith doesn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, yeah, I had a friend that named her daughter... Uh, after it was like, you know, it's always somewhere in the family, but it was like, um, like Clara, not Clara Grace. I want to say it'll come to me in a second, but it was one of those names that in my opinion, and these people are not listening, was real bad. Some of them are so bad that I will say to people my age back in the day when people my age were having children, I would say, think about it before you do it. And if you think your child is ever going to live anywhere else except for Madison, Mississippi, Yes. Or, you know, maybe a Louisiana, Kentucky situation, yeah. Alabama. Otherwise, people in the rest of the country don't understand. And you'll nope. be like me. You'll be spending your every waking minute explaining your name to people. It's and then you get Mary. frustrated. Yeah. Nope, it's not Mary. It's Mary Payne. And I recorded uh, earlier this week with Deanna Chang, who I love. Yeah. And uh, she knows me. We know each other. We are friendly, not just in the podcast world. Like we text each other during the week. Mm-hmm. She's still like twice on my podcast called me Mary. She's not a like, Southerner. She was like, I'm sorry. I know I said it wrong. And I was like, I don't care. I get, I'm used to it. But the listeners get real mad. They're like, why are you letting that person call you Mary? I go, they're my guest. I explained. And if they can't get it, because some people just can't and get it. That's I'm okay. Not, it's and okay. That's I'm not okay. Gonna, I, I'm not going to correct them. It's okay. Don't come I'm, fisticuffs for my guests, especially. I, I know, but it's fine. So yeah, it's Mary Payne and... It is, it is kind of a good way, like back in the day when it used to, used to get uh, callers all the time and you had to answer your phone. Yeah. And they say, can I speak to Mary? Yeah, I speak to Mary. And, and then you I knew go, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's not um, here. Anytime someone uses my actual first name, which is not Jake, anytime someone says, can I speak to James, which is my actual first name, I go, mm-hmm. I go, he's not here. I don't 
know when he'll be back. He's left me. And he'll never come back him. again. I don't know him. I'm this I my husband, him. James. <laughs> <laughs> so you have Jake as a nickname for James. It is. Well, not really. Jake. Because that, that, that makes no sense not, either. It's not. No. Jake okay. is a nickname. Uh, my, my middle name is Jacob. And so, oh, okay. So yeah. Jacob, the, well, that does make sense. Yeah. They're, they're both, they're actually James and Jacob are from the same Hebrew root. So it's basically James, James, but I was, oh, named, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I was named after the, this is so fucking Southern Barry Payne. Okay. Uh, I am the, I believe ninth. Um, I'm the ninth firstborn male of a generation to have the first name James. Okay. So, and we, uh, th- the middle name can be anything, but uh-huh, you have right. to name the, the, the firstborn of, of, in my father's family, the Anthony family, they're all named James. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. so I was the firstborn. And so it was basically my whole father's family looming over my mother and saying, <laughs> he's going to be named James. And my mother, my mother's like, I guess. And, yeah. and then I was named after, um, Someone Jacob on my mother's side and Jacob on my father's side, who supposedly on my father's side was a horrible individual. <laughs> oh, so it's not, well, it's it's not the greatest. But um, my mother decided I would not be called Jake Jacob early on, and they they named me Jake. Um, but do you so you have three Southern, first names really? I have three James first Jacob, names. James Jacob Anthony is also listen. You could tell me your name is James Jacob Anthony Smith, and I'd be like, yeah. That works sure. for me. I, yeah, it works for me. Yeah. I, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Yeah, it's that. I keep, I keep also wanting to sing John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. You're, you you would yeah. not be the first, but um, <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, after that Southern digression uh, yeah. of names, by the way, yeah. my, my nephew, my firstborn nephew is named, <laughs> I don't think they thought about this, uh, but the they wanted his middle name to be Ingram because that is a name on my sister-in-law's side surname. Uh-huh. And so his name is James Ingram Anthony. And that like, like somewhere out there, like the singer James Ingram. Yeah. No one gets it. Nobody unless- will get it because of our generation. Yeah. My nephew's name is Sanford. So what's the first thing you think of? Sanfordson. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. But but he's, you know, 30. So yeah. like nobody thought of that. No but when they it. named him Sanford, we were like, like Sanford and son? And my sister goes, by the time he's older, nobody will know No one knows. It's, it's kind of like whenever I talk about Red and Joy Know Me, I go, it's the big one. It's God, I'm coming. I'm Elizabeth, I'm coming. <laughs> And only maybe 10% of our listeners know. And when, when he said in the last episode, he's like, I have anxiety. I'm like, Elizabeth, I have anxiety. Here we go. I got it. I, got, I uh, loved I that show. I loved that show. I was like, wouldn't that be fun to live in a junkyard? That yeah. looks fun. The only <laughs> podcast when you where you have a gay white guy doing a Red Fox impression. <laughs> That's right. That's your claim to fame. <laughs> You get another oldie on here like me, and I'm like, yeah, of course yeah, yeah. you don't have to explain that to me. Everybody knows that show. Yeah. Yo, we're talking about Lilu, Life After Lockup, season premiere, season five premiere, uh, episode one, Love is a Powerful Drug, and we find out it is, especially for Chevelle and Quaylen, and I'm so excited they're back because I love both of their mothers. Mm-hmm. Um, I It looks like Mama... Mama Chevelle has abandoned her gold lip that she loved right. so much. <laughs> I forgot about that gold lip. You're right. You're right. However, what was with the they sh- the matching dresses? Are we gonna? Oh, that the ma- oh Lord. Uh, Why? It's never a good idea. <laughs> if if one person looks better in that dress than 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 the other, it's all you can see. I didn't understand why the matching dresses. I was like, now, if later on we find out they have a boutique and they sell this yeah. dress, then that'll make sense. But or they were all it, smothered, but. Uh, <laughs> it, it right. Speaking of, see, all smothered coming season five, coming uh, uh, December 12th. You covered that uh, too, right? On your yeah. on Pink Shade yeah. Prime. Pink Shade Prime. We'll be covering yeah. it. Yep. Mm-hmm. We've, we've seen the trailer there. Uh, the uh, only one I was kind of upset who wasn't back. Um, was Dawn and Cher because I kind of enjoy them, 
But it, it, with that, I think the storyline was playing out. I'm glad we're not seeing Angelica and Sunny anymore. Ooh. I am too. I don't know yeah. whatever happened there because that that boyfriend, whatever his name was, he got real aggro. <laughs> he got well, real mad. He had he, had it. I think he kind of after after five straight years of Sun He um, being awful, and I think maybe his emotional support dog that he carried like a clutch purse finally. <laughs> yeah. Finally, it stopped working for him, kind of like a drug. You got to go up a level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He needed two dogs. He's um, going to need a German Shepherd he he's going to have to carry around. Yeah. <laughs> he needed not just that dog, but also a German Shepherd. Mm. Uh, it just wasn't working for him. His dog purse that he carried. <laughs> but y'all, Christina and Kathy are back. Uh, love. And my love. favorite, Barry and Brittany. Um, who were absolutely, who, to, I will say, gave us, not that the show was great, it gave us one of our best reality gay seasons talking about them. <laughs> Those two, that, and she's like, you know, yeah, you could get a tummy tuck, you could get a uh, lipo, you could get weight loss surgery, you can take all the azimbic you want, you're fine. I was like, this is some <laughs> fucked up shit and here. And I have decided to pay for her tummy tuck. Um, and yeah, that was wild. That was wild. And then that boyfriend and then, yeah. I'm, uh, Frank, Frank, who uh, had yeah. a chocolate martini. <laughs> yeah. It'll all come back to me when I watch the, you know, the full first episode, yep. all these people and their backstories will come back to me. We have some of our, our mainstay, uh, quotes and catchphrases came from smothered like, uh, you scared me. Um, and that comes from. Brit Brittany, which we call whose name is Brittany, but her name is spelled like Brittany. Yes. And uh, a phone rang when she was talking about something, and she kind of has a voice like this. Yeah. And 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 she goes, "Oh, that scared me." And so now <laughs> we just constantly say, "Oh, you scared me." And also, <gasps> crab cake, crab cake, crab cake for your sleeve, for your gastric I sleeve. I don't remember crab cake. Oh, crab cake, Mary Payne, is when she's like, I'm thinking for dinner, for dinner, for dinner, uh, Brittany, um, what's something that's good for your gastro says? I'm thinking crab cake. Uh, it was okay. just the way she said it, and she kind of whisper talked it. <laughs> and she's just so strange. And, yeah, and both it, of them are strange. So I'm glad have, they're back. Yeah, me too. We have our first mother and daughter pageant queens. Um, oh, okay. And then we have, which I still object to this. We have our first mother son in law pairing because I think they belong on I Love a Mama's Boy. Oh, yeah. You know, I saw that. I saw that when they showed the preview and I was like, uh, huh? It's the wrong show. And I thought, I'm like, if he's gay, yeah, it's like, daughter, I get it. But yeah. like, no, it's your son-in-law. It's. I think it's. I. You know what? Before I will reserve judgment until. Yeah. I see wait it. and see. Wait and see. They may be a a, a duo for the ages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smothered has given us a lot, y'all. Remember Alina, who loved to kiss her mother or kiss her mother's face and run around, and who gave us the song "Driving Down the Highway." Oh yes, I, but what was the one? Um, what was the the duo with the daughter that got like the drive by Vegas lip injections, and then her lips were like so big, and then they that went was, to the strip club. That was season one. That was we never covered that one. Okay, but they they were completely inappropriate. <laughs> oh, and the girl with the big ass, and yes. then she she was a big ass model, and then when we went and looked her up, I realized Chris Rock followed her. <laughs> Because, you know, like it'll pop up like other people that follow. And it was like Chris Rock follows this account, this the, the, the big ass girl account. I was like, oh, all right, Chris Rock. Yeah. Sometimes uh, as long as we never see the, the the daughter who would give her mom massages again, uh, like last season. Remember, it would, it would be vaguely sexual. They were the ones who had basically a telenovela. It was really uh, fake. It was last season. No, I can't remember that one, but I do remember the ones that like lived in Hawaii and I think they're back. They, oh, they're back. They might be back. Uh, they, I didn't love them either. Um, I'm kind of upset. I don't, I don't know if our people who are from, um, 
uh, Trafalgar, Indiana, which the people who are that was the trans the trans woman and her mom Angie. Yes, uh-huh. um, yeah. I don't think they're back, but we had a really good time calling the town that they lived in Raglafart, <laughs> which is Trafalgar backwards. Which people told us that's what they called it, Raglafart, and so we go Raglafart, 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 because See, that's I, I, what we do. Because that's that's the that's the low bar that you reach for. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm proud of it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Our it's show right. is a mix of the lowest of the lows and not really highs. I was um, about to say, are you about to say the highs of the highs? No, because no, no, no. no, maybe, no I'm in the same boat with you. So I Maybe hear you. we get yeah. to the middle sometimes. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Which sometimes I'm proud we, of. Sometimes so, we cover documentaries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's mm-hmm. jump into this. Brittany and Kirok. Um what are mm. what are your thoughts? Uh, I I am not a fan of Key Rock. Um, I did not like him on their first season. I thought he was controlling and gross. Yes, mm-hmm. and I don't think he treats her well. Mm-hmm. And I think Brittany is an aching pit of need who I feel sorry for consistently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the show is trying to make them the new Brittany and Marcelino, and oh. mm-hmm. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, no, uh, you, whenever you say Brittany and Kiko, you have to go, baby, baby, <laughs> thank you, baby. Thank oh, you, baby. baby. Oh, you're like, shut up. Um, I agree. I, I didn't always think that he treated her well in that first season, but um, that they were on, but I'm thinking that maybe he's having a redemption arc. Uh, he seems to be acting a little bit nicer, although forcing someone to jump out of an airplane, not great. I I wouldn't do it. I would just say no. Okay. 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 I don't know if this is for audacity or what, or if this is just fake, but fuck you. If you're telling me we're going, the distance between horseback riding and skydiving is far. (laughs) And by the way, she was dressed for neither. She, she was in was a, a like a, a tube dress and heels. I was like, were you going to ride side saddle? Like, how are you going <laughs> to ride a horse? I, I've chosen to ride the English style. <laughs> it's like Scarlett O'Hara. Yes. I'm just on the side. Yes. I didn't, uh, no, yeah, she, was, she wasn't she dressed was, for either. That's why part of me thinks this was fake. Um, but the sheer idea of him saying to her, you said you want to take on life with me, so I need you to prove it to me by skydiving. Yeah. And I literally said, fuck you. Me too. No. I'd say, no. Okay. You, if you, if that's your dream, you've always wanted to jump out of a plane. Have I, a good that's time. That's fine. But I'm going to be down here and I hope you don't die on the way down. Make sure you sign this you yes. know, will before you jump and out. And yeah. everything to me. Uh mm. The other thing about this is if you are skydiving, there's going to be a moment and you have you and something goes wrong. There's Mm going to be a moment where you go, wow, I was really fucking stupid to jump out of a plane. Yeah. (laughs) In my life this way. Yeah. Yeah. I would hear my mother's voice going, Jay Bird, you jumped out of a plane. You went and done that. And now I'm going to have to mourn my son for the rest of my life. I mean, it's just not worth it. And that little plane didn't even look like it could hold all of no. them. Got to yeah. tell people he jumped out of a plane. You, how do you think that's going to make me look? Exactly. <laughs> Can you, you imagine one of your one of your children, God forbid, something happened when they would skydive and you would have to tell people, yeah, little Joe jumped out <laughs> of a plane and something happened. Yeah. Yes, he didn't really have a good sense either. <laughs> it just went splat. That's what happened. No, it's terrible. By the way, terrible. your son is not named Little Joe. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, yeah, I, I when I was watching that, I was like, "You can't say no. You can't say no." But she uh, she didn't say no. She and did not. We'll just see not. if they have a little bit of a redemption this season because you know he did do the the Spanish translator to call the abuela, so that was good. I and uh, uh, yeah. I didn't get a look at that ring that he got. I didn't get a good look at it. I gotta it, I gotta study it that. Seemed like a I enjoy his mother, uh, mother yeah. Tammy, and it seems like it's a family ring, and yeah. uh, I think they're giving him. It seems like they're giving him a lot more in the moment time, so maybe we'll get to know him better. I yeah. just get it. There's, there's a, the, 
just my honest feelings about him is it wouldn't matter who he was with. He would he he kind of needs someone just to be his person. And and she is completely obsessed with him. And it's yes. And 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 honestly, she needs a lot of therapy before she goes gets married and gets in a relationship. And so does he. And right now his transition, totally. his transition is the most important thing in his life. Probably yeah. shouldn't be in a relationship probably. And I agree. He doesn't need to think about kids. I also don't think he wants kids ever. Um, but, uh, so you know what? I wish him the best. <laughs> Who we'll, knows? See how play- we'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it plays out. Um, Melissa and Louie. Oh um, my God. What? We always had a good time with this couple until last season where it just felt like she turned into a garbage person. No, I think all of it is fake. I think all of it is for the storyline. I think they are together. They are happy. He was waiting out his 45 days or whatever until he could get to New Jersey. And they're like, how do we stay on the show? How do we keep it going? Yeah, Yeah, we're just going to, we're going to pretend like we're not getting along. I'm going to pretend like I'm mad at you that you live with your mom. You guys watch on Instagram, the mom and Melissa are always going back and forth. They're buddies. She's not a good enough actor. Yeah. All fake, 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 fake. All of it. And I think that whole like, oh, wow, I didn't know you were walking into the bar. Well, why did you think a camera was filming you? I mean, come she, on now. She isn't. She is not a good actress. Yeah. Um, she she really uh, she 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 shined in in Children of a Lesser God uh, when she was playing deaf <laughs> in high school. Uh, but that was it. Oh my God, that's bad. Her her uh, her her performance as a deaf woman. Uh, I can see it in New Jersey. So. Uh, he does surprise her and she's now working in an establishment called the chubby pickle. So yeah, we're, we're in the chubby pickle (laughs) and uh, (laughs) I like it. This is not the first time a pickle has been a big plot, big plot point. Remember the woman who said, I'm a big deal. And (laughs) (laughs) yes, and and her yes. and that guy thought it was the funniest fucking joke they'd ever yes. heard. And yeah, and she dressed up like the pickle. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And their whole relationship was kind of built on it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that, I think he went back to prison. Yeah, that did not end well. Um, mm-hmm. And it also, and she was a corrections officer. And mm-hmm. every time they were in, they were in the house, they were surrounded by this kind of swath of dogs <laughs> on the bed. <laughs> Yes. This kind of yes. dog, yes. dog, multiple woven dog blanket. Yes, I can't yeah. even remember their names. They were a I can't either. Wonder. They, a wonder. they, they were scary. Um, yeah, it yeah. wasn't a good situation there. Anyway, y'all. So, in the fakest way possible, she goes, "Oh my god, hey!" Um, <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. And so, y'all. And the the barflies who are getting drunk at what looks like two thirty in the PM uh-huh. are just staring <laughs> at them. Uh, <laughs> it's that part of Jersey, though, y'all. So what else can they do? And I mean, then she's, she's she's so pretty, I think, and I think that she's probably the hottest thing going at that bar. I gr- I agree with you. Uh, you know, we have a bunkie that she delivers their mail. So, someone's, I think she she messaged us too. Yeah, like, and she ran out to her, yeah. She ran at, ran out to her mailbox one day and got a picture. She wrote it was like the first time I tried to run out to get her picture, I twisted my ankle. So I was like. <laughs> She was like, I saw I couldn't get the picture that day. So she healed the ankle and then. That sounds like one of our listeners. Yeah. yeah, I I think I'm sure it's the same girl and said she went out there and and then took like a selfie with her and said, and this was when they weren't on because they had been on like love during lockup. Love during lockup. Yeah. Yeah. And then they weren't on for a season and then they came back. So uh, she was like, they're hoping to get on, you know, love after life after. So that's why I think that I think they're completely fine. I think they're very in love. I think everything is fine. All of it is fake. And I felt, um, I felt bad about his teeth. But they look I, better. They his, look better. His dentures are. I th- these are these are definitely series two or series three. These aren't the Ross from Friends chiclet teeth that we saw. <laughs> yeah. In, in, they, they 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 cut them down a little bit. Yeah. They cut them down. Yeah. They look a little uh, better. Now she does have a habit 
Melissa does have a habit of saying sometimes some of the grossest things uh, to him. She said, let me see your teeth. I want to make sure I got my money's worth. Right. That was kind of rude. Yeah. That and was a little rude. Anyway, he's still fine because they go to her house and uh, and at one point the all the only thing she, he can say is frozen meatballs. Really? <laughs> I mean, have you seen Mama Donna's food? It's not much better. It's, it's not good. Did you yeah. see her put pasta in cold water before it boiled? No. I think this might have been some type of like time thing. I it, it makes it 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 reinforces that all their ideas maybe all the storyline may be fake. You mean um, so it's like the water was on the stove not boiling and they put no, the pasta she in? She put the pasta in later on it was boiling. Oh, uh, well that's not how you do it. That's that's definitely not how you do it. Mm-hmm. Donna Donna would Donna even though Donna's food you can tell is horribly under Horrible. <laughs> It's all plain. It's all plain. Poor Donna. Uh, if it's not a Miller Lite, she doesn't want it. <laughs> that, when she was drinking during the day and that girl, uh, what was her name? Kennedy. Uh, Ken- yes, you're, of course her name was Kennedy. And she's like, uh-huh. yeah, my grandmother, she knew Donna for a long time. We're just drinking here at 3 p.m. What else yeah. is there doing this town? Well, I was like, it's a bingo hall or something. But then somebody wrote me, was like, no, that's like their local VFW because her husband, you know, you've seen the pillow that he was like yes. a Marine. I yes. was like, yes. That's their VFW. Yes. That's yes. exactly what it is. That's exactly what it and is. And y'all, yeah. Kennedy, Kennedy, you sit beside her in a bar. She's got a story. <laughs> and then for, for Donna to be like, Kennedy's available. I was like, you, you would like Kennedy who's drinking with you midday? <laughs> Over Melissa, who's got two jobs? Now, come on or, now. <laughs> or possibly the dental hygienist who looked like a human shih tzu. Um, uh, yeah. She won uh, the show right after the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade, the dog show. She was the winner. <laughs> yes. She was the winner. <laughs> Ooh, I will say I'm happy for little things like that that give me joy for this storyline. I enjoyed her her first season when she's like, and Louie was the guy in high school. And there's like a high school Louie. Yeah. And then he almost he almost gives away the show because it's like, do you even love me? Or is this like a fantasy from high school? And I was like, Shani, don't give away everything. Yeah, of course that's what it is. But, you know, um, we had a listener reach out that may have reached out to you too that said that she went to high school, was in the same class with Melissa, and said that Louie was not the hot – piece of ass that she's making him out to be. He was like the loser that hung out in the smoking parking lot. But I was like, but for her, that was cool because she wasn't yeah. in with that cool group. So for her, that was like a non-attainable cool guy. For this like girl that wrote, yeah, for, th- for this girl that wrote, she may have thought he was a loser, but Melissa thought he was cool because she was like a nerd, you know? That's, that is so, it just tells you, it doesn't matter what kind of, it matters what we build up in our heads. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you ever go back to a high school reunion? You <laughs> know, I went to my last one. I didn't go to the first one. I went to my 20th. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh, God, did I turn out better than, like, even the really hot people? I think it's because yeah. I got out of picking South Carolina, to be honest. But uh, uh, mm-hmm. it was – and there were some people who kind of looked the same, and it was nice talking to some of them. But yeah. I realized – Oh, shit. I never had anything in common with these people. <laughs> I had a guy tell me that he he was like, remember when I sat behind you in like Mr. Boswell's class in biology or whatever? And I was like, kind of? Like, I kind of remember. Like, <laughs> like, I knew him and we were like chatting and stuff. But I didn't necessarily remember that particular class that he sat behind me or right. whatever. I was like, I'm sure we had lots of classes together, you know? I don't know. And he was like, oh, yeah. I just always thought like you were so pretty and you would turn around and talk to me and stuff. And I was like. You did? I mean, I just didn't feel, I was like, <laughs> really? I was like, I wish you would have told me. I never, like, I could have used that boost of confidence, you know? And I thought yeah. you smelled like cheese balls. <laughs> I was like, well, I thought you were in the marching man and I thought you were a nerd, but that's okay. <laughs> You've turned out cute. You're a doctor. You have a cute wife. Everything's good. I wish He's you the best. Good. I wish him the best. Um, Urus and Cameron, I'm glad to see these two. I've always loved him. Uh, hate him. Oh, hate you him. hate him? I am Keisha loves her some little cam cam and I, uh, I, he drives me 
nuts. He is always thinking he's hilarious. He's always like mugging for the camera. Like, he is hey, bugging. Hey. Oh, he but he bugs. He bugs. I, I I don't know. I think it's because he's the he's just he's just not menacing at all, and he seems like. He's just joking out there. Now, y'all, this storyline is completely dumb of of them getting an RV. This of is co- are, I'm sure you're going to move into an RV with a 12-year-old and a new baby. And a baby on the way. Uh, Come on now. I I will say you can tell in every single frame of this that Eris is so uncomfortable. <laughs> She's tired. I, I think she's just really tired just in the way she was moving in what I would call the the Betsy Ross uh, uh, kind of uh, maternity suit she was in. <laughs> um, okay. It was the kind of like American flag-ish. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, felt, I felt for her um, because it seems like just her getting up, she's very pregnant, yeah. and just her getting up in that RV took – everything she had that day <laughs> being that present pregnant is so miserable and you your nerves are gone so you don't even have a last nerve that last nerve has left the building yeah and somebody tries to pull some of this bullshit you're like i i, I don't have time for this like we actually need to find a place to live this is get away from me with this bullshit because i know how i feel when i leave Maggiano's, and if it's and i know that is nothing compared to being no. pregnant no, so. and that's that's a trick that that is played on your mind because like being pregnant is really scary, and then when you are thinking about how the baby might come out and stuff, it's all very scary. Yes, but but then by the end, you're so desperate to get that demon out of your body <laughs> that you don't give a shit if you give birth on the highway in front of the world. Like spread it out, right. push the baby. You don't care because that, like and a that's cow. The, yeah, <laughs> just like splay it out, push it out. You don't care because you're so desperate because you're so miserable. So that's the, a trick that that the that God plays on you. A just miracle like, of life. Mm-hmm. Not so much. Uh, no, you're you're, you're, you're miserable. You're miserable. And then once you have the baby and all those hormones and feelings and everything kick in of the love that you can't even like describe, then you sort of forget how awful it was to be pregnant and you want to do it again. Isn't that nuts how the yes. human body and it like their hormones just channel and it makes you forget the worst pain you've ever had. Yeah. And so you want to do it again. Yeah, and you do it on purpose usually the second time. Yeah. It's like it's like what did I say? Uh, who who just had another baby in our in our circle? Um, and it was, I don't know who it was, but I I said, wait, there's another baby. You haven't figured out what you were doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that applies to a lot of people on these shows we watch, like a lot. Oh, oh it was probably Brandon and Mary. Oh yeah, those idiots. I think they just um, had a baby and they named they had, it Midnight. They named their baby Midnight. I I think that is definitely a horse name um, or possibly it is – A stripper name? Yeah, oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. definitely. But, but Midnight, like you can't even like shorten that to something cute like Midi or – I mean Midnight is – it's, that's tough, and uh, that's coming to, from somebody uh, named Mary Payne. That's, that's it's tough. a it's a you, you had a goth girl, whether you like it or not, she's mm-hmm. gonna be one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great point. So we just said the baby is there soon. Uh, Lena is also mm. throwing shade as she normally does. Uh, love her. I love her. Love her. She's a star. And y'all, the whole idea of Cam's plan here is that the RV will be something he can travel in when he's a rapper Uh Um, and they can Uh travel as a family like Mm -hmm. the traveling wheelberries or 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 something or the or the not the Osmonds the Brady Bunch when when the Brady Bunch went on tour or something $289,000 that's what it that's what it is Mm -hmm. so that's what he said 289 so they don't have I, my my opinion is I think they'll be moving into a different apartment because <laughs> there's no way they've got yeah. 300K uh, to no. get a yeah. – yeah. No, you buy that if you already have a house and then you're just trying to travel for fun and you've got an extra 300K. Right. That's not your primary home. Or you yeah. buy it if you're Janelle and you just need to get as far away from Cody as you possibly can. <laughs> 
Or that, yes, yes. Um, and to be mobile. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, y'all, know, know this. Probably not everything we're going to see on them with this season is going to be truthful. Mm-hmm. But hopefully what? it'll be a little fun. I know. What? Shocking. What? Uh, now, two, two people who I think everything is too real mm. are Joy Nomi and Red. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Remember how I mad she got? <laughs> Remember how mad she got and drove five hours away and then drove five hours back? That was 10 hours total just because he left the room for a long period of time. Now what's she going to do when she finds out he was banging somebody not once but twice? She'll tra- she'll take a trip around the world. It's like <laughs> yes. fucking yeah. Charles Lindbergh. She'll go yeah. all the way. She'll t- like, like in a biplane. And then she'll go all the way and come back to him somehow. If he had driven five hours – and then decided to go back, would you be like, no, nah, I think I'm just going to keep on going and you can get an airline ticket. It seemed like that's the miracle of, I mentioned this and I, I hate I'm mentioning it when Maddie's not here, but she made up her mind to go back in Venita, Oklahoma. And <laughs> he, he always talks about Venita having one of the biggest McDonald's. Oh, um, okay. And I think it was the miracle of McDonald's that made her, made her turn around. Um, okay. It's okay. built apparently, Mary Payne. It's built across the 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 interstate. <gasps> cool. Um, and it is enormous. And apparently, it's a place that a lot of people go to visit. I guess that's Oklahoma. Um, I would like to go. So I need to now know how far it is from my father in law's house in Oklahoma, and can I go there? Where is where's the? I I know nothing about uh, 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 Oklahoma. To me, is just. One big, one part of it's desert. One part of mm-hmm. it is stolen from the native people, mm-hmm. and well, that's almost all of it. But um, and then one part is just where Matt lives, and yeah, right. My yeah. uh, in laws live in Norman, Oklahoma. Norman, or, that's in the north, o- I believe. Oh, o- you? It's yeah. It's it's like fifteen minutes from Oklahoma City. Yeah. Uh, it's also next to Moore, home of Toby Keith, and uh, that's what happens there. The University of Oklahoma is there, and they enjoy football. And um, that's what happens there. So any <laughs> that's all I know. I know <laughs> I know about Norman and I know about Oklahoma City and that's all I know. Uh, but I have driven past the Tiger King's place when we were going from Dallas to Norman. We passed by yes. the Tiger Killing Tiger King place. R.I.P. You can also not, pass, not there anymore. You can also pass Arbuckle Wilderness, which is also there, which is another uh, private zoo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come see the animals at Arbuckle Wilderness. The animals are waiting for you. That's a commercial that even I remember from being in North Texas. That was um, beautiful. Yeah. You can beautiful. get mauled by a tiger at Arbuckle <laughs> Wilderness. The animals are waiting for you. Yeah. They're hungry. They're <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's got a criminal record uh, who works here. So the joy they're they're going they're in Texas now, and they're making a time of it to get Ooh. to to New Mexico. And he basically says, unfortunately for Joy, she says things like, "So, is there anything you don't like about me?" And I'm like, Joy, these are not uh, questions you need to be asking. <laughs> I think it's the opposite question. Tell me what are you most surprised that you like about me? Yes. What, what is it? What is it that you do like about me? Not, not tell me my flaws. Nobody. I expected to him to say your your empty, vacant, hungry stare. Because <laughs> that's something I don't like about her. Your monotone, flat voice. <laughs> your monotone voice that kind <laughs> of that you're that it, at one point you're you. I always want to scream. What do you need from me? <laughs> that's what I want to. I want to scream at Joy. Poor Joy. What she's do you always want? Just, she's always just pawing at her face, Ugh. wiping her tears under those glasses, just pawing, pawing. She pawing is pawing at those textbook. tears. Love after lockup, y'all. There, yeah. Joy, Joy Nomi yeah. may be one of the most Lalu women we've seen in a long time. She's she's like a throwback to an e- a simpler time. Yeah, but <laughs> let me tell you what. If you promise a guy you're going to have sex with him in a limo and a grocery store, <laughs> who who wouldn't who wouldn't fall for that old trick? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, 
And at one point he says, yeah, and I know when I tell her I banged Betsy twice, it's going to really destroy her because she already has insecurity issues. He's like, mm-hmm. and you know the worst part about it? Sex with Julie wasn't even wasn't even good. And I'm thinking, poor Julie, who's happy to hear that on national television. And it was so bad that I had to do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> to figure out if it could be better. Let me so when they're staying in that covered wagon situation, which is a which is probably in Venita, Oklahoma. Has to be. When they're staying in that covered wagon, there was no bathroom. There was no bathroom. Yeah, I have lots of questions about the covered wagon situation. There's also a, a bunk bed. It kind of looks like a hostel thing that you go Why in. Why a with bunk like, bed? Yeah. You go in with like four people on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. And then it's like the bathroom's outside. Like, um, what's his face and what's her nuts on 90 Day? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, fuck. Uh, Rob, Rob and Sophie. Rob Sophie. the knob. Sophie. Yeah, Rob the knob and Sophie. That's right. An outdoor bathroom, an outhouse, if you will. I have mm-hmm. a feeling, I just have this, we were, we were, I was doing our, I was talking to someone earlier, uh, and I was like, my, my dream team uh, draft, my super draft picks for single life. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. And I think uh, someone else brought up. I think Jessica from um, who's you know in your group, Jessica Dang. Uh, oh yeah. Brought, brought yeah. up, brought up Hamza, um, who is in from Hamza uh, in Memphis. Hamza in Memphis. Yeah. Because he's around. He's you in, see him he's on in, the Instagram. Yeah, he's in. He's in the the country. Yeah. Um, and she, she. I'm like, that's a great idea because he's she's like out he's there. Hot. Like she's out there doing like like justice for she's trying to get him out. Like she, she yeah. did this whole Instagram. Did you see? She's like, hi, I'm a Memphis attorney at law. Also a doctor. <laughs> you know what I mean? She was like trying to say like for people who ha- brought foreigners into the country, and you're trying to get them out because they're not paying the child support. I was like, what is the, happening honey, here? The karma that you're getting here is not going to help you. It's she just, she kinda, just let she, him stay. She revealed who she was. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just the best thing you can do is know that you got duped, but you had a lot of things you didn't tell him as well. Yes. And you uh, also uh, family plan. Hashtag family planning is always a great, a great idea. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Remember her? Me poopy. Me poopy. Me go poopy. Me go poopy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh so yeah i think him of course john uh patrick's brother um uh so Smockles, good Smockles, Smockles. Smockles, yeah and i still think and, and then i think maybe sophie if she's been able to stay around because people like her uh um, so do we know for sure they broke up they're they're they're, they're definitely not together they're not okay yeah. well she looks great she looks great yeah. she got her hair back to a normal color she yeah. looks good um, and is, I think he is so good looking though. Don't you think he's very good looking? He's actually gone down for me because he has uh-huh. absolutely, he has the personality, even a black hole would go, can you do something more? <laughs> it's just nothing. You just find him so boring. I, it's would not you, even would that. You? It's just, he's okay. so awful. And he, yeah. he can't, he cares so little for her. He's doing the least. But Jake, you and I have discussed this many times. we have the same bad taste in It's men, really bad. I I, it's I really liked bad. Doug. I liked Doug. Oh, Doug with the baloney king? Yes. Yes. So yes. hot to me. And God, y'all... he's hot. <laughs> so That's hot, true. that guy. So uh, hot. Yeah, we need we need to we need to talk to our therapists about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah but Rob the Knob, so he's hot. good looking. Hot. So good looking. Um, what if he had like a decent apartment and a decent car and just like a decent job? Like n- nothing nothing over the top. Then just, like, I would all... be over there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then yeah, because he he doesn't live too far from you. Yeah, I'd be I'd be trolling around like Bestie. Uh, <laughs> I'm right I'm right outside the door. I'm right outside, Rob. <laughs> so, y'all, uh, she the next morning after they've both experienced their organ trail fantasy, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. she's calling her sister Shanna, uh, Shoshanna. And and he by the by, by the time is leaving a voicemail for Bestie, yeah, and saying that's it, honey, I'm out of here. I'm on my way to New Mexico. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry that I never really s- said bye, but um, that's it for us. I have a feeling he's going to be talking to Best- Bestie some more. Um, this is Bestie. 
how could you how could you how could you not talk? It's his bestie. How can you how can you just cut off your bestie? That's right. Uh so we are going to the Big Texan. Have you been have you been to the Big Texan? I have not. I have not. I've heard tell of the Big Texan, but I've mm-hmm. never been to it, never seen it in person. No. This I'm not one for adult theme parks. I, <laughs> I just everyone else is having too much fun and I kind of get a little I I'm fine with a couple of drinks and just leave me alone. Um, yeah, that that tracks. I can't yeah. imagine that you would enjoy the Big Texan or no. the McDonald's that goes over the highway. No, I think I'd be okay if I had a Big Mac and not a whole order of nuggets, but a couple of nuggets from someone else's order that they didn't eat. Um, are, you get, are you getting fries and a shake too, or is that too much? Now we're, now you're I, sick. I don't want a shake. Um, yeah. If I'm going to get a shake, it's only a shake. If, if I'm going to eat that somewhere else, because I okay. can't, I can't. I I got actually shamed for for saying I could never finish a milkshake. So I'm Ooh. not going to go back to that because I'm like, I can finish three. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Great. I, I, the kid, that's the problem in our house. It's constant. Somebody orders a milkshake, and then I'll say, "Why'd you order that milkshake? You know, you're not going to drink it all." I, I, I will can't. drink it all, and then they never. The kid, they're always half drunk milkshakes all over this house. <laughs> I you know what's really good is a peppermint milkshake. Oh yeah. Oh, so good. I but I'm kind of like your kids. I can't finish them. I can't I either. Just, yeah. I'm always like, give give the drugs to mommy. Mommy will drink the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I like sharing one, but then there's the backwash factor. Um, yeah. Again, not something we think about. So he buys a ring for thirty dollars mm-hmm. and uh, goes on a one day, and of course it's get it's yes because mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of course it would be with joy mm-hmm. yeah, and uh, I Mazel Tov, Mazel sure. Tov, y'all. <laughs> yeah, sure. He's he just had to get it out of his system, and now he's a one woman man, and that's it. And why don't you believe him? <laughs> it's true. That's what he said. But but let's not forget about the uh, family album of pictures he had of women. <laughs> yeah. And she's like page eleven, page twelve, page thirteen, and no pictures of me. No, this, y'all. Let's be clear. This album needed two hands to carry. <laughs> it was enormous. It of was all these women, huge. And I, I'm not. I'm going to say something really gross here, and it's just because sometimes you bring it out of me. Those Perfect. pages seemed a little, little sticky. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They were kind of sticking together. I'm not lacked even- in jizz. Yeah, gross, <laughs> gross. Everything. I, was like, I wouldn't a- touch that girl. <laughs> Everything was cloudy, like precious memories. Yes. Close. Yeah. Yeah. A little sticky. A little sticky. Uh, I'm really happy to see this couple back. Chevelle and Quaylen. Um, and why? Qua- why are you so happy to see them? Because she's so fucking messy. <laughs> and okay. remember that kind of wrestling outfit she wore when she was trying to. <laughs> She, also she loves has a, a one piece, a one, one piece. One of one of the most questionable styles. Um, oh and, yeah. And there was also what she was wearing in this scene with her friend. Kind of looks like she was wearing a denim dress, but someone just slashed at the sides, so only the yeah. front of the denim dress was there. It's like, whoosh. yeah, she she doesn't have she doesn't have the best taste. You're right. That's right. No, God bless her. Um, mm-hmm. So they are – remember, though, you guys, if you had to uh, – they I would I would recommend watching their season. Uh, Quaylen and his mother, Quilandria, and mm. their, his sister is also a Q name. Uh, and the, the brothers – everybody's got the Q-U-A. Everyone's a Q. Yeah. Uh, and Mama, Mama Chevelle, Sylvia – had was rocked the gold lip and gold eyeshadow the and she stuck with that now she's she's on a pink lip she also has matching eyeshadow so she's of sticking course. with that theme mm-hmm. um and they had a they had a kind of a tumultuous season where uh she found out he was cheating on her sorry oh, yeah. cheating as Lacey says he was <laughs> cheating on me on me king and Sean, 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 Big Daddy, Sean, <laughs> and Big Daddy, Big Daddy. <laughs> now he's hot too. Oh God, I Whoa, will. Oh, he's hot, y'all. Y'all, I don't care if John's got shitty teeth. He could talk dirty to me because 
John is gross, and I am he, here for it. <laughs> he is hot, hot, hot. I kind of forgot about his teeth. I blocked that out. But I think I'm in my mind, he's gotten himself some new teeth. He's got some Ugh. new Louis teeth, so he's hot. Big he's daddy, hot. big daddy, I would beg for it. Let's just um, say that. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like please please I don't know I've never been with a guy I'm like I know <laughs> like just close your eyes it feels the same I promise <laughs> uh, oh my god this is this is going downhill All right. it always but uh, always. apparently Quaylen Ch- Chabelle says did a three sixty did a three sixty. Oh, well, that means he came back to her. Uh, he's, he's back. <laughs> did he landed back in the same place? Or exactly. He, I okay. Again, we have a con- real confusion on this show and ninety day about the difference between one hundred eighty degrees and three sixty because mm-hmm. apparently we were all out that day in geometry. Uh, yeah. Where uh, anyway, but and y'all, he did a three sixty and ring. She's engaged. And Again, because they were they engaged before? Did they, they get were. engaged on the Ferris wheel or something? They were engaged on the Ferris wheel, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, so she is there in this kind of denim slash black silky number. It is an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> it is truly, I kept staring at it wondering, I know that's applique, but how did it get sewn into that kind of satiny material? That's, there's got to be a backing behind that. Again, I thought way too much about this garment. I didn't study it that hard. But okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, uh oh, there's a dog barking in your house, Mary Payne. I know. I know. I, I, and once, as I always say on my podcast, there are one to four other people above the age of eighteen in this home, <laughs> besides me, and no one does anything when the dogs bark. <laughs> they all just look. Oh, they're barking. I'm like, D- mommy's working. Mommy's working. Silence. Silence those dogs. Uh, throw, throw, throw them, throw them hunks of meat from the dinner table so they will quiet down. <laughs> no, 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 no. They'll they, if they really get going, I'll I'll mute you. But I think Good. they right. they No, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, so y'all, we are looking at the wedding venue, and remember, uh-huh. his his mother and her mother did not get along. Quilandria and Sylvia did not get along. We mentioned earlier that that Chevelle is for some reason wearing matching dresses with her mother. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No idea why. This, uh, this is never a good idea. And, and, and Sylvia says, he's not ready to get married. I just know it. And Qualandria comes in. She has, uh, they're, they're talking about the wedding venue and Sylvia has lots of opinions which mm-hmm. I don't know if now is the time to make those, <laughs> I don't know, apparent. Yeah. And there's a mom fight between mm-hmm. Quilandria and Sylvia. And at one point, Quilandria says, I don't fight street people. And I heard, I don't fight straight people. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> neither do I. Is um, she trying to say Sylvia is from the streets? Is that what she's I trying to say? I wasn't sure. That's not, that's, I don't think that's nice or true. not a very nice thing to say. (laughs) Uh, seems like a fine upstanding woman. I don't think that she's from the streets. I, yeah, I, I, the whole thing here, I think from what I'm seeing, the whole, the whole season is probably going to be much more about their families Mm -hmm. than them fighting. It's like the Libby and Andre, because I think maybe Chevelle and Quaylen are okay. Also, Quaylen always seems like he has smoked an entire bowl every <laughs> before every scene he's in, so I think he's going to be pretty mellow. He's pretty uh, checked out, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then to end it all with chaos, absolute chaos, is Tater and Chance. We don't refer to her as Taylor anymore because someone made a, a typo on uh on their on on patreon or something like that yeah and she will ever be known as tater <laughs> i'm just saying like oh my god she has a tater chance i just i just want to know if bobby's okay i'm always worried about bobby oh bobby. yeah the sister yeah i'm I, always worried about bobby with the t or the j we don't know oh, on her neck always yeah i I think she moved to the sober living place out west, which is probably the best place for her 
Or did she come back? She came back. That's right. Le- she left and then she came back. She's like, I'm back. Remember? And then she like refused to stay in the hospital when Taylor was having the baby. But yet she told us that she worked in a hospital. It was all very she, confusing. Yeah. She didn't like to be in hospitals. The hospitals freak her out from when she's had her ODs and things. Right. She was terrified of that. But then she told us she worked at a hospital. It's confusing. Mm. Um, but y'all, that's Bobby reasoning. Um, Sometimes addicts don't tell the truth. Yeah. Speaking of addicts, mm. uh, Chance, y'all. Mm. Chance, Chance's addict personality doesn't matter if he's sober or not. Chance is like, look at this. This looks really cool. We could also get this. Like, he, if he's not going to be addicted to drugs, he's going to be addicted to gambling or he's going to be addicted to spending money. And yep. it is, it is, it's not hysterical because I feel bad for poor Tater, um, mm-hmm. but it is it's predictable as the tides that Chance yeah. is going to be doing something really crazy and addictive. Um, when you first met Chance, did you think he was hot? Yes, I did. we we I have did discussed too. this. It's a I real problem. Mm-hmm. Now, now I still think he's good looking. You can see the Pitt family kind yeah, of. You totally can yeah. if that's true. But I don't, I think I don't it give is. a shit if it's if it's, it is. But I I uh, I will say, if he and I were alone in a truck stop bathroom, I'm mm-hmm. not responsible for my actions. Okay, yeah, he's he's <laughs> he, he has a very nice looking face. I will say, I agree. But I hate his dad jokes. I hate They're his awful. dad jokes. He's always with the dad jokes. No, he's awful. Uh, they are arguing about finances consistently. Uh, there there is something about him that. I would probably just want to put a sock in his mouth constantly because he just talks and he won't stop talking about himself. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how Tater does it. Uh, Maybe (laughs) she's hard of hearing. Uh, (laughs) So, uh, so Tater's like, help me and chance work is I bring love and compassion and he brings bluntness and craziness. And it's a balance. Yeah. Something like that. It's Jesus. a balance. Yeah. So y'all, they are now into making epoxy tables. I, I granted, I'm not the most craft minded trend person. Do you mm-hmm. know about epoxy tables or does everyone know about it? But me, I don't have a clue. Is it okay. just you paint a table blue or something? And then you put that like swirly stuff on top of it. It looks kind of like clear but then it dries and it's a color but it looks like marbly is that what i doing? guess i don't know i'm sure there are listeners out there and sissy's just going oh my god i do them let me tell you all about them i'm like uh-huh hold your dms honey i don't give a fuck it's um, like epoxy is like you could do it on anything it doesn't have to be on wood i think you could do it i don't know but she watched a couple of youtube videos and now she's an expert <laughs> Welcome, no, she's welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> yep. This now is you what hire, we do. Hire, hire her to make you a table because she watched two YouTube videos. And yep. apparently in Southern Missouri, Taylor is the best of the best. Um, <laughs> I think it's her first <laughs> client. <laughs> and y'all, Chance can't get a Chance can't get over saying, well, we can definitely upsell when I come in and, you know, I can say this, this is needing, this is needing a couple things. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. and she's like, why don't we just try to do the tables? <laughs> she has a great point. She's like, we can't go in there and be like, hi, we're selling you a table, but also can we take up all your flooring and put up carpet? That's she- not nice. She does have great points. It's just delivered in that whiny voice, so it's hard to take it seriously. Totally. Um, totally. So and at one point, they walk into this woman's house. She's like, yeah, uh, mind if I walk around the kitchen? Mind if I just like look and inspect your house? <laughs> I would, the lady was like, um, sure, sure, weirdo. Good thing I've got you in my eye line. You don't have to like go around the corner. This is such like coked up behavior. <laughs> <laughs> and like, it doesn't matter, y'all, if he's sober or not. He will always act like this. There's yeah, something you're right. like it is. He's like his skin is kind of itching off if he does not do something addictive or obsessive, or if he's not at extra level, his skin yeah. is going to itch off. Yeah, you're totally right. And when you get to this end scene, I got very uncomfortable. 
Oh. Very. So let's discuss the appearance of Babo, um, which sounds to me like a very harmless name, <laughs> like Babo the Clown. You oh, hire uh-huh. at your child's birthday party. Uh-huh. This yeah. Babo has rage issues. <laughs> <laughs> It's he's a money by Monday situation. He's like, I'm not fucking around with uh, my bag. Yes. Apparently, yes. apparently, Bobbo and Chance had a business on the inside. Um, cigarettes, uh, toilet La- rose. Uh, sometimes <laughs> they do like a uh, sometimes they do like a laundry thing. Like somebody will do your laundry for you. I've heard that. Um, there's lots of businesses they can have. They could be selling those. Uh, those um, ramen noodle packs. Yeah. They could be doing their commissary, as it were. Your dog has opinions about about I, jobs. I, I'm about pie. to mute my microphone. <laughs> it's been the meanest text to my family. Yeah. Yes. Can someone pick up the dog? Can somebody get the dog to shut up? Yes. Uh. Anyway, it's no. It's fine. I just like the idea of the the of the dog of the dog going. There's always embezzlement. Um, oh my god. So y'all, the the um, the the stream of profanities and beeps that come out of Bobo's voice, and they don't sound like, "Hey, I know we haven't connected in a while." <laughs> hey, man, I've missed you. I just got out. We should we should hook up. We should go grab a beer, man. We just talk on the outside. Yeah, I miss you. I miss you, my brother. It is. Yeah. I want my motherfucking money, you piece of shit, or I'm gonna send people for you. No, he said, I'm not going to send people for you. I'm coming myself. That's right. <laughs> it's even scarier. And at one point, uh, Chance in that point, Chance just says, Yeah, I guess like me seeing movies and like having fun with Tater's kids. I just plumb forgot. I like to go to the park and push the kids on the swing, and doing that made me forget about the one thousand dollars that I owed to this guy. <laughs> to Bobo. Bobo. Uh and it seems like Bobbo and maybe Bobbo could never call Chance inside, or maybe he didn't know where he was. But now Bobbo is out. Um, Bobbo is out, and he has located him probably from looking on his television and yeah. being like, "Okay, and now I know where that guy lives." Yeah, I I will say, um, I, I, Bobbo, Bobbo Ooh. does not sound like someone I want to meet. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. He's, I was, I was, like I said, I was very on edge. I was very scared. And I liked how Chance literally looked at the camera crew. He was like, can you guys just back up a second? Can you just like, <laughs> can you just give me a moment here with my friend, with you, my uh, associate? You can tell things are serious because the dad jokes are gone. This oh, is. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And he basically goes, she's like, what's wrong? You were like, he's like, yeah, uh, babe, we gotta go. Um, I, I really gotta go. And like, uh, I can't look at this house anymore. Cause like, we gotta go, we gotta go. Uh, the, I gotta go be, be at the casino by five. I mean, uh, let's go. <laughs> um, and she's like, what's wrong? He's like, nothing's wrong, but he's a terrible actor. <laughs> Do you think that, so he's making the table and then she's doing the epoxy on it. So how much, it, how much are they selling this table for? It's not a thousand dollars that he has Bobo. Uh, I don't know. 200 bucks, 200 bucks. Yeah. I was like, I was thinking 200, 300 bucks. Cause he's like, okay, you want something about this size. So he's going to make the table and then she's going to epoxy it. And she's got lots of colors to choose from. You could even do shoes, shoes, two colors if you want. Um, <laughs> And then they got to, so she's going to have to make like six tables to pay back Bobo with the interest. Time for the sweatshop. Uh, And Bobo, uh, Bobo gets his money and doesn't uh, take chances left toe. Uh, So it, it, it feels like this storyline kind of finally has some stakes to it. Hopefully this is not fake. I, every time I watch these two, I there was one point where I'm like, okay, things might be okay, and then it, then it would go bad again. I'm like, okay, things might be okay, and now I just have this feeling of dread every time I watch because I know, and I think she's like selling nudies on OnlyFans now. I've heard that. Yeah, um, so maybe it's not going so great. Yeah. Oh, we wish them the best. <laughs> the, oh, the two of them, the two of them, always just seem a little bit dirty. 
Like everybody no. needs a shower. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Um, y'all, that's the show. Okay. Uh, Mary Payne, thank you. Thank you for always talking for talking me down from this ledge and talking to me <laughs> about Life After Lockup, one of our favorite shows. I it's always a fun watch for me. I never I never get Listen, tired of it. I love how they just roll one right into the next. They just night Matt Sharp 90 day style. They just roll one right into the next and, until the summer when they give us a break and make yeah. us watch a Mama June, which we don't watch. No. Yeah. It's like a it's like a gangbang, but sadder. Um <laughs> <laughs> you just roll from one to the next. Oh, okay. Yeah. But sadder because Wait, game that bang is in itself sad. would be a happy moment. No. You, Mary Payne, you'd think, but once you're halfway done, not as much. Mm. <laughs> it's always a good idea in theory. Uh, anyway, and with that, oh. and with that, and with that, thank you, Mary Payne. We will see, Maddie will be back next week. And we will Yay. be discussing this. I know it's I'm as long as he didn't. I still think he may be in a Florentine or a Venetian jail for trying to touch Michelangelo's David's penis Mm-mm. or something. Tell us where you can find you, Mary Payne. My podcast is called Pink Shade. You can find it wherever you listen to podcasts. And then I'm out here um, whoring myself out, saying things like, "Whose dick does Brielle have to suck?" For you to follow me on Instagram, follow us on Instagram at Pink Shade Pod. Thank you. And you guys have, have a do you guys have a moment coming up? We have a moment coming up with Kimberly and Katie of A Date with Dateline, and we're going to uh, cover a Hallmark movie called Mystery on Mistletoe Lane. And uh, we had a, a bunkie reached out and was like, I actually know the writer stop. of Mystery at Mistletoe Lane. And I was like, stop it. So, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to do like, you know, giveaways and prizes, and we're going to have special guests and all that jazz. When yeah, is that? That's, de- that's December 13th. The tickets are on sale now. Well, how about that, y'all? You mm-hmm. block out that date. No Christmas parties for y'all. <laughs> no, nope, that's you why we're doing it on a Wednesday. You don't want to go to them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we're more fun. We're I more have fun. to. I have to go to a holiday thing, uh, a holiday drop-in uh, uh-huh. from two to five this Saturday, and uh-huh. I, I can just say I'm going to drop in, drop out, <laughs> real well, quick. I'm- no, I, yeah, a drop in is never good because what if you get there and nobody's there and then you got to hang out till it's more my, people arrive? It's my worst fucking nightmare. That's why yeah. I'll show up at four and leave at 4 30. Mm-hmm. And that's how a drop in is done. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Payne. Thank you. All right, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. Lock me up, roll with